Hey guys, did you miss me? I missed you. You might notice the location change. I usually sit at my desk, but today I'm sitting at my bed because if I were sitting at my desk, you would see the explosion that is my room. Basically, there's a suitcase open and then just close. I have to apologize in advance for the lack of fancy editing skills because my mouse is slightly broken and it's really, really hard to edit these videos without a mouse. I can do some things, but I can't do like the cool choppy stuff, so you're gonna have to deal with this. It's been a long time since I've done a review and I'm really, really sorry, but I really haven't read any books lately that would interest you. But I'm finally reading one. I'm going to be done with it in about a day, I bet. And then I will do that. Um, but now we're just going to do random thought. You know you missed this. A great spring break. My sister surprised me and took me to Wicked in LA, which was awesome. No good deed goes unpunished. You bet it doesn't. Plus, you know, Disneyland, shopping in Long Beach and Newport, and it's a hard life. But anyway, while I was shopping and canoodling around and, you know, doing my thing at Disneyland, excuse my phone, um, I got a bunch of the same comments and messages. Actually, I've been getting them for quite some time now, but I never really responded to them because I just didn't care. But it's been kind of bugging me because I feel like I need to make my opinions known on a certain subject matter. The subject matter me being being Dylan from the Maximum Ride books. A lot of you have been asking why I don't like Dylan, why I'm not keep my hair right now. Thanks why I'm more Team Fang. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to make my opinion known. Firstly, Team Fang is a bit of a strong term. I don't generally like to be called Team Anything. I mean, I say I'm Team Edward and I say I'm Team Daniel and Team Peta and whatever, but I don't really like to say it. I just say it because it's easier than saying I like this character more than this character, however, the previous character is alright too. It's just too long. The reason why I don't like to say I'm team anything is because when you say team anything, I think of the crazy girls at the Twilight premiere. One side Team Edward, one side Team Jacob, all yelling insults at each other as if it's World War Three. Hold on, my sister's calling me. Hello? That, my friends, was ironic. My sister just called me to tell me that she finished Fang and she hates Dylan. Yay, Jordan. Yay. Anyways, I don't like to be called Team Anything because, like I said, I think about the Twilight fans at the movie premiere yelling insults at each other, acting all crazy and annoying, and they're the reason why I don't go to Twilight premieres anymore and I just go at 8 in the morning the next day because I can't be around Team people. You know they're not real, right? They're not. So I'm gonna be saying I'm Team Fang, but take the team thing very, very lightly. Alright, so I'm not one of those people who sticks on one character and stays with them. Like, I don't like Fang because he was there first. I like Fang for different reasons. Now, as for Dylan, see, I don't not like Dylan because he's not Fang. I don't like Dylan because he's pointless, creepy, and weird. Period. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of die-hard Team Dylan people out there and I don't mean to offend you, I just feel like I should get my opinion out there so that people stop asking me about it. It's just that Dylan came from nowhere, first of all. I think it was James Patterson's way of trying to get a plot into an obviously plotless book and not exactly succeeding. He comes from nowhere. I was just like, how come no one's making a big deal out of this? There's another bird kid, and they kind of get past the surprise really quick. Whereas I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No one thinks this is weird. No one? Ugh. It was so frustrating reading Fang. You've no idea. Um, okay. 
Now, as for the creepiness, okay, guys, Team Dylan fans, he seriously doesn't creep you out? He legitimately doesn't creep you out? Really? Really? I mean, he has a voice like Jigglypuff. Everyone has to stop and listen. I was waiting for him to draw faces on people as they fell asleep. I was just weirded out by the whole thing. Just the, everything about him weirds me out. Now, some people may argue, oh, but he's the perfect guy. He's like my dream guy. He's so gorgeous. He never did anything wrong. He's your dream guy? Really? Because in my head, my perfect guy is about 10,000 times less ridiculous and creepy. I mean, in my head, my dream guy um, has a uh, character and, um, you know, a personality, can think for himself, and, oh yeah, isn't a robot. Do you guys realize that he is programmed to feel the way he does for Max? He is programmed to feel that way. He's a robot. I mean, if he hadn't been programmed that way, he probably wouldn't like her. And it's weird to me that Max is going along with this, because she knows that. I, I, I can't. I can't like him. I've tried. I've reread Fang with so much difficulty, it's ridiculous. And I've reread Angel, just trying to look for a part, a redeeming quality that could make me even somewhat like him. But I don't like him. It is so hard. He's so, so, and I will use this word a million times until I am blue in the face, he is so creepy. He just is. Max is falling for a robot, and for some reason no one thinks that's weird. You guys. He doesn't really feel the way he feels. These are not real feelings. These are implanted feelings. He was created to be her perfect other half. Created. I like romances better when characters develop a likeness to each other. There's character development in that, and it's essential to me. Because romance isn't real when people were meant to be to me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that phrase, meant to be. That doesn't mean really anything. It means that, I don't know, there's no emotion in it. Anyways, I thought it was creepy that he sang and his powers were supposed to be cool, but they just weren't. He's so obnoxious, he doesn't really care what Max wants. Does anyone realize that? He kind of, once Fang was gone, he was like, oh, yay, 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 my turn. He wasn't like, crap, she must be in a really bad place right now. Dylan. Oh, Dylan. And then there's the reasons why I like Fang, because unlike Dylan, Fang and Max grew on each other. And as they grew on each other, you as a reader become more interested. It's interesting. It's so surprising to me how people can totally just be like, well, it's cool. They had no story together. It came from nowhere, and he just suddenly loves her out of thin air. But yeah, it's cool. He's awesome. What the <sighs> okay, so those are my reasons for not liking Dylan. I will always love Fang. I will be very sad if Max does not end up with him. And just to make it clear, for those of you who want Maya and Dylan to get together, it sounds like a fan fiction in the making. Not reality. I mean, fictional reality. There's such thing. Oh, one thing, one last thing. People are saying that they don't like Fang anymore because they left Max. Okay, so he made a mistake. He had good intentions. I mean, come on. Guys, really, don't do the we hate Edward because he left Bella thing. That, uh, seriously, don't do that. I mean, yeah, it was a mistake and he shouldn't have brought Maya in, but he didn't do it to hurt Max's feelings. He didn't think he was ever going to see her again. He just needed somebody on his team like Max in order to fulfill his goals. Ta-da! I mean, it wasn't the smartest idea for him, but, you know, people make mistakes, and honestly, Fang is such an awesome character that I kind of got over it. Yeah, he made mistakes, but pff, goes over my head. I mean, he's such an awesome character, and Dylan is just so not... You know what you think? Thumbs up if you love Fang! Thumbs down if you're with Pretty Boy.